Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to Jason as a Social Scientist. My mouth daily. Pill number 948. So you might be wondering what the show is about. People often wonder what the show is about. The premise is deceptively simple. I take my HIV medication live on the book of face each day in front of friends, family, and strangers. I do so in order to embrace stigma, dispel ignorance, and find support after 948 pills, 948 shows. Number of bells, whistles, and bows have risen up and around and about the show. The bells, bows, and the people, the people that come back night after night and give me their most valuable resource, their time. To me, that's the most significant thing that's risen up and around and about the show, the community. Therein lies the support that I was looking for. But a number of bells, whistles, and bows have risen up and around and about the show. Ding dong bell, boy does she now, how it means heck. This show has it all. I like to say that it is Cloud Atlas and that it incorporates at least 600 years of entertainment. With Edward R. Burroughs' radio broadcasts on record and cylinders played on the 19th century, Edison of home phonographs, <coughs> along with a nursery rhyme book from my childhood, containing woodcut illustrations from the 15th century. It is, in a sense, also The Matrix. In a previous iteration of the show, I created something I call the Rainbow Tunnel, which I harnessed the power of gray skull, the eye of Pandera, funneling them through a series of warp and cells, creating a static warp bubble and a subsequent singularity, punching a hole through the fourth wall, across the multiverse, and into the source. The show now takes place in an echo chamber, created by me that serves as a way station between our reality and the source. I don't expect lay people to fully understand it. This is advanced social science. Yeah, so the show is also like an old-timey variety show. Carol Burnett style, mixed with a merry melody of Looney Tunes and a measure of Mark and Mindy. Manu, Nanu, a dash of Mr. Ed, and two two doses of Alice in Wonderland. A helping of Hee Haw, heaps of Benny Hill, a hint of the Highlander, tons of the Twilight Zone, a tincture of Teen Wolf, oh, 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 an ounce of Oz, a cup of Creep Show and Cast Away, a quart of Quantum Leap and a gallon of Gilligan's Island. It's a four minute show and a four minute tour. Piles of Pee Playhouse, a pinch of Peter Pan. A pound of Popeye, I am what I am. A whole block of Mr. Rogers neighborhood and a ration of the Rocky Horror Picture Show. I'm just a sweet transvestite from transsexual Transylvania. Ah, ha, ha. Come up to the lab. See what's on the cell lab. I can see you shiver with anticipation. To, to, to touch me, I want to be a dirty, a thrill me, chill me, full of villamy, creature of the night, an undone Benjamin Button, a corny ear of Dumbo, a college try of I spy, a couple of raw strokes of Bob Ross, a spoonful of Mary Poppins in the full. Monty, Python, finally lumping Rick and Marty with a leader, a leader, a leader of I Love Lucy in the Sky would die. Men's and wham, bam, bam, thank you, ma'am, you've got the show. Everything is out of place and out of time here, including and especially me. April will always be pregnant, Harambe will always be ready for her I-5, the first and the second coming, will always be risen with the Obamas getting blowjobs in the woodies. The Supermen and their boners will always be spinsters and centresses working the sweatshop. The twin, twin towers will always stand with Lady Liberty, you will have their MTV, pigs will fly, disco and dance will rain, like men did in the days of old, I write nightly the future history of anachronism for your future children and your elderly grandparents, may they enjoy it now, and time immemorial. If I'd have people take only one thing away from this show, it would be the knowledge that HIV is preventable. If you're HIV negative and you think you've been exposed to HIV, uh, you, there's something called PEP, post-exposure protocol. So it works sort of like the morning after pill. And uh, if you take it within the first 72 hours of, uh, ex- after exposure, uh, uh, you're over 99% effective at uh, preventing HIV. Uh, and if, uh, also, if you're HIV negative, there's a, there's a once a day pill you can take. They call it PrEP or 
pre-exposure protocol, and, uh, uh, and you take that, it, the pill is called Truvada, and you take it once a day, and it works like a highly effective chemical condom, it prevents HIV. But if you're already HIV positive like me, treatment is prevention. By taking my medication every day and maintaining an undetectable viral load, it makes it so I'm not contagious. U equals U. Undetectable equals untransmissible. You could fuck me bareback all day long and never catch HIV for me. It's a brave new world. The future is now. And it's 1969. Free love. Woo. Pill number 948. Down the hatch. We are robot. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, ah, ah. All right, another update. We got so we got the gas up back on. So I'm hoping I'll take a shower tomorrow. That's the plan. A shower tomorrow. Uh, maybe a double live. Maybe a shower during the day. I'm not sure which. Um, but um, I love you all. Ron had a good question there. Was well, if I had to, uh, I'd have people take two two things away from the show. The second thing would be I love you. And, so come back tomorrow. I'll have more ideas for you. You'll have things you want to talk about, and so will I. But now it's time to say goodbye. I love you. Mwah.